But anyway, uh, we got winners semis? Yes. Ooh, T Sage against Rafi X. Should be a good match. A little bit of a camp fest between a Rob and an adult link. Yeah, we'll see who, who's forced to approach in this matchup. Right. <laughs> It'll well, be interesting. I think a lot of that comes out. Wait, yeah, he's trying to just say, yeah, I'm going to approach. I'm going to end stocks. That's what he's saying. Exactly. I think it has a lot to do with the items, actually, that are in play. I mean, you look at the gyro, and that can control a lot of stage. But if Link has a bomb, too, like, he gets a lot of good angles, especially jumping and throwing him at the big target of Rob. Yeah, that's one of the things. I think Link kind of needs his – he needs space to set up his sort of wall. Mm. Rob doesn't necessarily need that as much since his projectiles come out a little bit quicker. Don't take as much time to set up. Yes. But uh, at the same time, both these characters are very good at walling out each other. I feel like Rob is a little better uh, on the ground too, like up close. Like I think yeah. his, his grab is really good. Link obviously has to commit a little more when he grabs. So I like the way that Rafi uses the tilts and the grabs. Uh-oh, this is dangerous for T-Stage. Good evasion though, using the up B, but still going to be caught by the up smash. And that wow. looked like suspect DI. <laughs> yeah, that was the uh, the borderline one. Who knows, man? Super yeah. close. Okay, Rafi feeling that. himself a little bit, yeah. Okay, it's, it's It didn't look like he got the spike hitbox on that one because he wasn't able to get a follow-up. But Either that or Link, he's just so happy, man. Yeah, who, who knows? All uh, right. <laughs> Second hit of the fair, launching Rafi off stage. Bad position for T-Sage, though. You know what, though? He knows he kind of has to risk a little bit here because uh, if you are behind him, Rafi's Rob, he's going to just rack it up very easily uh, with good confirms like that. Nice little up throw onto the Smashville platform, getting a forward, where, forward air afterwards. Yeah, Link's going to be able to live a little bit longer from that beep poop, which is coming up real soon because uh, Link is that heavy character, as we've seen so far. This seems like he can't die. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he is a heavy character, but he has a hard time landing, too. He doesn't have a whole lot of options. I mean, uh-oh. Down throw, up air. Yeah, yep. he got the good hit of it, too. T-Sage going to be getting two-stock that game one on Smashville. Yeah, really, if, if Link's above Rob, really the only thing he can do is try and, like, mix up his fastball to try and get back down to the ground, or he just kind of throws out that down air to say, all right, you got to try and wait this out. And uh, if he's able to get to the ground using either of those options, that's, that's pretty much what he has. Correct. Yeah, I totally agree, man. He's just kind of a little defenseless in the air, as most heavies are, though. I mean, that's how you balance them out, right? You give them, like, they're this heavy weight. They're hard to kill, you know, just because they're so heavy, but also they have a hard time landing if they're com getting comboed. But taking advantage of his own weight, T-Sage is going to bring Rafi to Battlefield. Yeah, we'll see. I think last game, uh, Rafi was able to do a really good job being able to get in on Link, and T-Sage wasn't able to set up that wall. And uh, looking like he's going to be able to set it up again, too. Definitely. I like the mix-ups that Rafi does after he lands a safe nair on shield. He goes for either jabs, down tilts, or grabs, and they're all good mix-ups. Or nothing. Like, he'll shield himself, try to bait you into an unsafe option. Oh, uh -oh. headshot. He does peg T-Sage. Oh, my goodness. Good the setup. setup. He was either eating a gyro or a spike right there. Either way, I think his, gone, his suck was going to be gone. Yeah, if Link ends up too far away from the stage, his recovery is so linear. Rob with that spike, he just basically puts him on a T. Mm -hmm. On a T-Sage. T-Sage <laughs> getting teed off the stage. Anyway. We got it. Yep, nailed it. <laughs> We're seeing Rafi now just kind of camp a little bit more. I mean, he's got the advantage. But actually, I mean, he just runs in and dash attacks, too. Yeah, I, th I think he realizes that Link's, Link's big advantage comes when he's able to set up that wall. And yes. basically when he can pull bombs, but he needs time to be able to pull bombs. So Rafi's like, I'm going to just run in there mm -hmm. and I'll let you pull those. Because if you've seen, he's barely pulled any this set so far. There you go. Another mix-up with the Nair crossing up Link and then getting a down smash afterwards. Really good stuff from Rafi. I mean, he uses that Nair so well. I've seen it time and time again. Here we go. Speaking of time and time again, it's going to be down. Oh, okay. We needed the re-grab, yeah. It was 2 over percent. I liked it. Yeah, and T-Sage moved out of the way nicely, too. Like, he just hovered to the left, uh, which was a smart decision. All right. Both these characters are on 90% each. T-Sage obviously stocked down, but looking for the dash attack, it does not connect. If it did, it definitely would have taken Rafi's stock. So I like the idea, but it's unfortunate for T-Sage right now. He can't close out a stock. Yeah, T-Sage is sort of in that rough spot where he can't get that kill, and the rage building up from Rafi can also be really scary because of Rob. Yeah, Rafi's kind of throwing out these options such as up air and just kind of looking for a kill. Or forward air is really good at this percentage, Ooh, too. But like you it. know what else is really good? Jab, jab, up B. 119% going to be the percentage that T-Sage needed uh, to take Rafi's first stock of this set, actually. Yeah, he's got a long way to come back, though. 127% now. I think uh, his, his weight might save him from B poop. It's so close, Ooh. especially the big stage of Battlefield. Yeah, it depends on like what angle he gets shot out at, and you know where he is when he gets grabbed and hit, all that good stuff. But I think 143 is definitely in, will be seeing in your territory. I, I feel like uh, well, yeah, it's gonna be the. Well, let's see what happens because it's so close. Heavy yeah. character, rage, weird hitboxes. And I mean, you want to talk about like someone who T is just doing such a good job bringing this back right now. Oh, as I say uh, that. Yeah, he's course. caught with that nair, but he's able to get the bomb away. Doesn't kill him this time. Okay, T-Sage looking for a follow-up, gets a bomb into a fair, gets Rafi off stage. Yeah, he's starting to look really good now. He's been able to bring it all the way back and getting really close to be able to take the stock, but the up throw. That was going to do it. Good confirm yeah. by Rafi. You know what, though, T-Sage? 
I love the Battlefield pick. It really worked out better for him than the first stage, uh, Smashville. Mm. It went to Smashville first, right? Uh, Why can't I, I ever I, remember I it? No, I agree. I have so much. Oh, yeah, they did. Because Rafi, nice, Rafi got the nice follow-up on the platform. Good yeah, awareness yeah, yeah. with the up.